Hi, we're UCI CANSAT. I'm Jonathan, and I'm the project manager. Hi, I'm Joseph, and I'm the chief engineer. Hi, I'm Jack, and I'm the electrical and software lead. So a little bit about our presentation today, we'll go over the uh, logistics of our project, um, which will include the background, goals, objectives, our, how our team is structured, requirements, and a timeline. Then we'll follow that up with um, the progress that we've made this quarter, and we'll close up with a short summary. So um, a little bit about our project. Um, so our project is to really deliver a CANSAT that will be launched up to about 700 meters and really eject a uh, delta glider um, that will fall after being um, ejected. Um, so at around 700 meters, the container and the payload structure itself will um, deploy from the rocket. At, um, it'll fall at a, at a velocity of about 20 meters per second. Um, at 450 meters, the container will release the um, pair, will release the payload structure, and um, inside this payload structure will include the delta glider wing. Um, the delta glider has um, one minute to complete its objective of falling in a helical trajectory. Um, it'll fall, um, it'll fall 350 meters with a radius of 250 meters, all within a time span of one minute. At an altitude at about 100 meters, the um, payload structure will release its own parachute and it'll fall to the ground at a speed of about 10 meters per second. Um, so our main two um, deliverables for our, our project this year are to uh, create the preliminary design review and present it to the committee. Um, this will fo be followed up with a critical design review, which will lead us up into the uh, competition itself. We hope to, um, to place high into the competition. Um, this year's competition is held at Virginia Tech um, in dates of June 11th to June 14th. Um, so our main objectives, um, we really narrowed it down to four main um, objectives. These are really uh, derived from the um, competition requirements that are given to us by the um, competition itself. So um, moving on, we'll really look into the, the more into the requirements more in depth. Um, our team structure is actually uh, split up into two main uh, subsystems, the mechanical and the electrical and software subsystems. The mechanical is really uh, in charge of doing the mechanical design, um, and this really consists of six uh, members. The electrical and software uh, subsystem consists of three members and is um, really focused on the electrical assembly and the ground station. Um, so for this quarter, we've really focused our time mainly on designing um, the Delta Glider itself. Um, so we had a lot of difficulties um, really coming up with ideas and moving forward, we won't really want to revise these ideas and um, create a CANSAT that works during the competition. Um, uh, next slide. So during our winter quarter, we hope to really uh, do all of our manufacturing and prototyping. Um, so this will really include testing and uh, assembly. Uh, we've left a lot of the spring quarter time open so that we have um, a margin of error so that we can really fix up on any kind of um, problems that our cats have may um, encounter. Um, so the competition itself uh, gives uh, each team about 57 requirements and um, the full length of requirements is available on the competition website, which is highlighted below. Um, the main object, the main requirements will really be um, presented uh, later in our progress slide, so I'm not going to spend much time on this. Um, so moving on into our progress, our first four um, main points are really from the mechanical subsystem, and this will include the container structure, the separation of container and payload. Um, and parachute and delta glider and delta wing glider. Um, the last two uh, main progress are done with the uh, electrical and software subsystems. Uh, now I'll be passing it off to Joseph to discuss container structure. Great, thank you, Jonathan. Um, so starting with the container structure, um, some of the requirements that we built our design around is that it must be able to survive 30 g's of shock and 15 g's of acceleration. Um, our current design for our canister uses two uh, top cap and a bottom cap, both 3D printed from ABS material. Um, the sidewall of the container is made from a lightweight LDPE material.
material. Um, we, this design has been proven last year to reduce weight a lot. Um, the next steps for this design uh, would be to cut the LDP sheet from the plastic and 3D print the actual parts and assemble, and assemble it all. Um, also, we, we have a, a payload release mechanism embedded on the, on the payload structure. So for this payload release mechanism, we're using a nichrome wire switch. So a uh, nichrome wire stitch, uh, switch will be stored in a 3D printing, uh, printed part, um, and the fishing line will be fed through the nichrome wire. Um, when our microprocessor on uh, when our uh, microprocessor on board the CANSAT uh, senses that we're at the correct altitude, it will heat up the nichrome wire switch, um, telling it the nichrome wire to burn through the fishing line. Uh, for our parachute progress, we've decided to manufacture our own parachute for the delta wing glider this year, um, as well as for the parachute associated with the, the canister. Um, to do that, we had to do several calculations regarding the correct area we needed for the parachute, um, as well as lots of testing um, on, on our own time. So uh, with that, we were able to optimize a parachute for our design. Um, some of the requirements for our delta wing glider kind of align with the requirements for the canister. Uh, it must as well uh, be able to survive 30 g shock and 15 g's acceleration. Um, the, the glider must be able to fit inside the canister, um, and the glider must also be able to achieve a helical descent with a radius of 250 meters for one minute, all within a range of 350 meters. Um, on the next slide, it shows a picture of our current design for the delta wing glider. Um, shown in the bottom here is a parachute box, uh, which uses a, a torsion strain deployment mechanism for, the, for its own parachute. Um, shown over on that side is the, on the top half of our fuselage, we have our battery mount. Um, since the battery takes, is the heaviest component associated with our glider, we put that towards the front of the nose because we're trying to keep the center of mass at a quarter cord, cord length for our glider. Um, on the next slide, we show dimension drawings showing that our current design will fit inside uh, the canister. I'll now pass it on to Jack to talk about the ele electrical system design. So the electrical system's main responsibility is to gather sensor data and send that data back to the ground station and also to control the CANSAT. And so far this quarter, we've selected all the major uh, components that we need and but we're still deciding on a few other things that are off, that are not on the circuit board, such as batteries and motors. Um, and the PCD schematic is finished, except for a few optional extras, like micro SD card and other stuff. And so our next steps next quarter are to finalize the PCD schematic and the bill of materials, and to begin the layout of the circuit board so that we can manufacture it and start testing it. And so for our software and sensors on the CAMSET, uh, we have a test rig um, that is able to gather sensor data using an Arduino and send that via XB to uh, the ground station receiver. And the software running on the ground station is able to take that data and plot it in real time, uh, as in these plots. Uh, we have a plot of temperature, atmospheric pressure, uh, and altitude, uh, as well as gyroscopic data. And that's it for the electrical system. And with that, I'll hand it back to Jonathan. Um, so our CAD set is actually a uh, multidisciplinary design build flight project that engages uh, our project members in creative and um, uh, creative ideas and designs, and ultimately producing a CANSAT that will make it to competition and perform well. Main points to take away from this presentation are that we have two main deliverables, the preliminary and critical design review, which we will have to present to the competition committee. Secondly, we have a Delta Glider Wing objective, which will be accomplished by, um, again, having our um, asymmetrical um, folding wing, uh, our, our asymmetrical tucking wing design. Next steps for uh, winter quarter and possibly spring quarter are to finish prototyping our entire assembly and start conducting aerial tests. Um, secondly, is to revise our wing tucking mechanism um, and potentially making it better. Um, and thirdly, is to integrate a closed loop 
uh, control system for ailerons to control the descent 